My goals for the rest of the season are pretty simple. My first goal is to make it to the NCAA track and field indoor championships in the 200 and or the 400. Then after that, my goal for the first outdoor track meet is to qualify for the Olympic Games in the 200 with a time of 20.5. I don't gotta be here. My name is Calvin Dyson Jr. I'm a senior here at Morgan State University. I was born on the island of St. Croix, in the United States Virgin Islands. Um, growing up, the people that really influenced me to get into the track was my mom and my dad. They really helped me, especially at a young age in elementary school, in the fifth grade, starting track and field. It was a big thing for me to be in sports and to excel to a point that where I am with now which is on the verge of qualifying for the 2012 London Olympic Games. And they was very instrumental in helping me get here. Some of my like um, greatest people I look up to in the track world right now with Jeremy Warner, Kirani James, Tyson Gay, you see him both, just to name a few at least that are out there at the top of their game, where I'm trying to get, which the coaching that I'm getting here, I'm getting it. I, I went to a junior college because I felt that I couldn't get into the D1, pro, not that I couldn't get into the D1 program, but I felt that Going to a four-year university straight out of high school was a big jump, so I wanted to ease myself into it. So that's why I chose to go to South Plains, to go to South Plains College in Loveland, Texas, which is a two-year institute, one of the best track programs in the um, nation. Our boys team has run five championships back to back from 2007 until 2011 are just gone. The girls have won three. And coming to Morgan, Choosing Morgan out of Juco, it wasn't, really and truly Morgan wasn't my first choice or my first option. I had other schools looking at me to give me scholarships, but I got kind of a little injury in my freshman year and they stopped looking at me. They were like, oh my gosh, yeah, he came in, he's running. So then now they're all like, all right, we're gonna offer you a scholarship, whatever, whenever you graduate, we'll give you a four, right, yada, yada, yada. But then when the time came down to it, they didn't give me nothing. They was like, oh, well, we got this and we got that and that, that we don't have any money. We got people that staying back and I wasn't like their first choice. So then, you know, I was like, all right, cool, no problem. I just go ahead and sign to Morgan. I signed the papers right away and sent them off. Got here and I, I like, it was a big culture shock to say, to come from the islands, to go to the country, to then come, come to the city life. I wasn't used to the whole, I mean, in Texas it got cold, it snow, but I mean, I wasn't used to this cold, cold up here that's every day, all day, 40 degrees, like it's nothing. But I mean, I transitioned well for the most part. And when I got here and I started running, and I actually started running times, all the coaches from the other colleges that offered me scholarships and backed out on their deal, came up to me and was like, oh Calvin, we should have gave you the scholarship because the guys we have now, they're not running nothing. You're doing way better than them. And I just look at them, shake, I just shake their hands, nod yes, I just keep it moving. Because right now, I feel like if I went to any other school, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. the track team, we are a family. Yes, we're gonna have problems. Yes, we're gonna have disagreements. But most, but all in all, we are a family. 
we had to come to school from December 3rd. There was nobody on campus but us and the basketball team. The basketball team was traveling, so we took the initiative to, you know what, to just say, all right, we're all gonna just come to the apartments where I live, and we're all gonna just have fun and chill and talk, play games and just socialize, and just get together and be a family. Like, we are truly a family. Unlike other sports, other sports see us and tell me, yo, Calvin, I wish we was as cool as y'all guys, because y'all don't have any trouble, y'all don't argue, y'all don't fight, y'all don't backstab, none of that. I mean, but that's how it is, you know? Because at the end of the day, who's gonna have your back? As, as, as I said before, in like the family setting, so I mean, me and Coach Hodge, we're from not technically the same place, but he's from the Virgin Islands also. He's from St. Thomas, I'm from St. Croix. And just knowing that makes me want to work harder because when I go to, to um, the Olympics now, I have a chance to bring him along with me and he can work with me as I prepare for the um, races that I have to compete in over there. So that bond with him is cool. Then the bond with Coach Janice, who's assistant track coach, she's from Jamaica. We have a cool laughing, giggling type stuff, but when it comes down to serious time, it's serious time, and we actually work and work out and work hard. Coach Murphy, the other assistant coach, he's a like cross country coach, he comes to me for advice sometimes, and I come to him to, for, for my advice sometimes. The attitude he brings to the program, um, he's a leader, and I think the teammates follow him as a leader he's, and he's followed by example, which is something positive we are always looking for in people that we consider as better athletes than we had in the past. You know, he, he bring a whole lot more than just being a great athlete, he brings his leadership skills. I think he have a future in the sport. Um, right now our goal leading up, I mean the five years is a long way from here. But we are looking at the short term goal right now is to get to the next Olympic game, which is Sydney this summer. So we are training, gearing towards that. Hopefully we get the A standard. Well, not hopefully, we will get the A standard. So he will be at the next Olympic games in London. After that, I think it will be an opportunity for him to turn pro. I think he has that ability to make it to the next level, but it all depends upon how much he wants.